Here at Complete Lawn Care, each and every yard we use a stick edger instead of the hand trimmer. This leaves a deep, straight, clean edge line uh, for the client to see that uh, there's a separation in between the driveway or sidewalk and the start of their turf. Using a trimmer over time, uh, the lines are uh, not straight and it looks sloppy. And so we always use a stick edge on each and every property, each and every week. You should have a clean edge line down to the dirt, clean dirt, um, from the uh, using the stick edger. Uh, we make sure we change the blades out on the stick edger at least once a week. And you can tell by this by the if you're not getting clean dirt while you're edging, then it's time to change the blade out. We always use a stick edger going uh, forward, and just straight, just straight down the uh, from one corner of the yard um, around the uh, every uh, hard surface, such as sidewalks and driveways. We use a stick edger all the way around. The line should look uh, clean. Uh, separation of the driveway and the turf with a clean, like almost like a small ditch in the yard, uh, in the uh, crevice there, uh, down to clean dirt each and every time. After the yard is edged and someone else is mowing, if, you're, if you are assigned to use a trimmer on that property, we always use our string trimmer to go around the entire uh, area of the yard where the mower misses or the edger misses the edge of the yard. The trimmer will go around to make sure that the grass is evenly cut and there's not grass sticking up on the edges of the yard or where the mower misses on the corners. Paying attention to the details is one of the most important things using the stri string trimmer. We always uh, trim around all obstacles um, of their yard, such as our, um, alongside fences. We make sure we don't damage um, wooden fences and leave uh, mark lines on the fences. We don't trim around newly planted trees as the trimmer line could uh, kill a tree. And if you have any small trees, we just hand pull the grass around the tree and make sure you don't trim around those. But make sure you're trimming evenly um, with the uh, trimmer along metal edging and flower beds. Um, you're uh, around any porches. You make sure you use uh, the trimmer effectively to where it's evenly cut and it has a professional looking uh, finish to it when you're finished. The general standard on trimming is to cut even with the grass. If you cut lower than the uh, mowing height, it's going to leave a scalp mark or a burn mark into the yard. And, a, and you will be able to notice that that yard, that area that you trim too low will have a scalp mark until the next week you come back. Yeah, as you're using the string trimmer, if you run into an area where there's uh, crushed gravel or loose rocks, make sure that you're very uh, careful around those areas as not to throw a rock into someone's windows, car windows, house windows, as this causes significant costly damage. When using the trimmer, make sure you're throwing any of the clippings that you're cutting back into the yard and not into any flower beds or uh, other areas of the property. Trimming and edging is one of the most important things you can do to separate yourself from other companies and that'll separate yourself um, from just a mow, blow and go company and a company that pays attention to the details. And we always wanna be known for paying attention to the details.